Hi there, this is a brief screencast to show you how to use the spreadsheet view in GeoGebra. GeoGebra has a built-in spreadsheet that works just like Microsoft Excel. To open it, go to View, then Spreadsheet. We can work in the spreadsheet using functions that we have entered into GeoGebra. For example, enter the function f of x equals x cubed plus x plus 1 in the input bar. Notice that underneath the spreadsheet is the graph of f in the graphics view. Let's make a table of values for f, f prime, and f double prime in the spreadsheet. Let's use four columns, one that holds the x values, a second one that holds the f of x values, and then two more for the first and second derivatives. First, let's make the top row, which is row 1, just contain some column headings as text. In cell A1, go up and enter quote x end quote, including the quotes, and hit enter. This puts the letter x in that cell as a text value. Now enter in quote f of x end quote with the quote values in cell b1 right next to a1. And similarly put quote f prime of x end quote in cell c1 and quote f double prime of x end quote in cell d1. Now that we have our column headings, let's enter in several values of x down column a starting with x equals negative 1 and going by jumps of 0 0.25 all the way up to x equals 1. We can make GeoGebra calculate f of these values as follows. In cell b2, let's calculate f of negative 1. Whenever I want GeoGebra to make a calculation in a cell, I'll first enter in the equal sign into that cell and then tell GeoGebra what to do. So for example, to have GeoGebra calculate f of 1, Let's go to cell B2 and type in the equal sign, and then simply F parenthesis A2 close parenthesis. This means I want GeoGebra to calculate F of whatever is currently in cell A2. Hit enter and you'll see the result. Now you'll notice I didn't just type F of 1, I typed F of A2. And the reason I did that is if I click on B2 and drag it down through the rest of the column, GeoGebra will apply the same formula that's in cell B2 to all the cells in column B by calculating F of whatever is in the corresponding cell in column A. This is called making a relative cell reference. Now let's go to column C and calculate the derivative values. Since GeoGebra understands that the symbol F prime means the derivative of F, all I have to do is type the equal sign because I want GeoGebra to calculate something, then F prime of A2 and hit enter. Then I can just drag that formula down the column. To get the second derivative in column D, go to cell D2 and type the equal sign F prime prime of A2 and then hit enter. And then drag the formula down the column to apply that formula to all the cells. If I want more accuracy in my decimal places, just go to the Options menu, select Rounding, and then select the level of accuracy that I want. And that's the basic idea of how to use the spreadsheet view in GeoGebra. Thanks for watching.